Well, when I was young, if a girl was going with a boy only two months, they were still strangers. Why, I knew Archie a whole year before I even found out he was ticklish. How did you, how did you find out? It was an accident. We was on the beach, and I was smearing suntan oil on Archie's back, and my hand slipped and slid along his ribs. <laughs> you should have seen him. He jumped three feet. There's one other place that Archie's ticklish, but I didn't find that out till after we was married. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Mrs. Bunker. Oh, I'm Beverly LaSalle. Is your husband home? Well, he's busy right now. I got your address from the hospital. Mr. Bunker saved my life this oh, morning. You're the one. Well, come on in. Oh, well, uh, sit down. Uh, here, wait a minute. I'll give you here. Well, how are you feeling now? Oh, much better now, thank you. The doctor said it was complete exhaustion. I'd been working very hard, and I guess I was just worn out. Oh, well, it's a good thing you wore out with Archie. Because he learned how to save people's lives in the toilet at work. <laughs> oh, he saved mine in a cab. <laughs> It was foolish of me to work three shows a night for ten weeks straight without a night off. Are you in show business? Yes. I'm a female impersonator. <laughs> Ain't that interesting? You know, that's smart, too. I mean, who can imitate a female better than a lady? <laughs> I'm afraid you don't understand, Mrs. Bunker. I'm a transvestite. <laughs> well, you, you sure fooled me. <laughs> I mean, you ain't got no accent at all. I really can't stay very long. I just wanted to thank your husband personally, but will you say he's busy? Oh, uh, not anymore. Eat it, eat it. Look, McNabb got this other brochure here. Another Disney brochure I want to show you. Sit down in a chair, huh? This has got pictures of the most beautiful things in here. Oh, wait till I show you. There's one of them in here, an all bare band. A naked band at Disneyland? No, 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 we did. You know, bears like brown bears, grizzly bears. Well, I hate bears. Yeah, but they ain't real bears, Edith. Look. I hate all bears. Take it away. I'm just trying to show you something. Stifle! <laughs> Me, will you? I told you to stifle! Hi, Ma. Hi, Ma. Hello. Can I help you with your package, Ma? Oh, yes, Ma. Thanks. <laughs> Ma, what's the matter? Something wrong? Something's wrong with Mom, Michael. I better go see what's the matter. Uh, Ma? Why, why don't you sit down? Uh, w would you like a cup of coffee? I'll get it. Would you like to tell me about it? No, no, Gloria. I can't tell you about it. Come on, Ma. No, no, I told you. I can't tell you about it. I can't tell nobody about it. Never, never. All right. 
It's all right, Ma. You don't have to tell me about it. I was arrested! <laughs> you were arrested for what? I told you, Glory, I can't tell you about it. I'm a shoplifter. <laughs> you were arrested for shoplifting? You were arrested for shoplifting? Now everybody knows! Gloria, what's going on? Uh, Ma, it's all a big mistake, isn't it? No, Gloria. I'm sorry, but I think there's something wrong with me. Yeah, I've started taking things. I think I'm one of them people that, you know, can't help taking things. Ma, Ma, you're not a kleptomaniac. That's the word. You're not that. Yeah, it's come down to me from my Aunt Gertrude. She was, <laughs> she was one of them kleppers, too. <laughs> Ma, you don't inherit kleptomania. Oh, she was a lovely person, but she couldn't help taking things. Yeah, it was so sad. I remember once, after she left our house, we couldn't eat a thing. She made you feel that bad, huh? No, she took all the knives and forks. <laughs> What's the matter, Mike? I don't know. Something's missing. Not enough salt? Not enough Archie. It's too quiet around here. Michael, don't tell me you like arguing with Daddy. I didn't say I like it. I just I'm used to it. My body is used to it. When Archie's here, I eat better. Well, don't worry, Mike. He's only working overtime tonight. Tomorrow, he'll be home at his regular time, and I'm sure he'll get in a nice argument with you. <laughs> I find out what went wrong at the supermarket. Now, come on, kid. Well, I knew you liked clean pizza. Yeah, I heard that before. And heavy syrup. Yeah, I heard that too. I know. Why don't you tell me how much I've told you so far? Then I'll know where to begin. You ain't told me nothing so far except clean peaches, which is coming out of my ears. Now, don't say them two words no more, huh? Start your story after the cling peaches and get on with it. <laughs> well, Archie, I had an accident with a car. What? Ma, are you all right? Did you get hit? Oh, no. I didn't get hit. I hit the car. Why? You don't drive. Yeah, and even if you do, we don't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> How did you hit a car? Well, that's where the... <laughs> you told me never to say those two words. David, what are you trying to tell me? That you hit a car with a can of cling creature? That's right. You see, I was coming out of the market with my shopping basket full of... Mm -hmm. <laughs> And there was Mrs. Duncan with her new baby. I took a peek in the carriage, but I couldn't see the baby too well. He was all swinged up Will with you get on with the story? <laughs> anyway, I knew I had to say something nice about the baby, so I went, oh, isn't that a beautiful baby? And when I went, oh, the shopping basket got away from me, rolled down the hill and smashed into this parked car and scratched the fender, and then this can of mm-hmm. <laughs> in heavy syrup <laughs> jumped out and made a big dent in the hood. <laughs> it was a freak accident. Me, huh? Who does he think he's fooling? And what are you looking at? Don't pay no attention to that guy there. Now look at these two, giving me the big double O over here. Why is everybody staring at me like I was some kind of boss of the mafia or something? How could you cheat on your taxes? I didn't cheat. I just done what everybody else does. But if everybody cheats, why did Mr. Munson say you could be in big trouble? Because everybody doesn't cheat, Ma. And if Archie committed a fraud, they could find him or put him in jail. Jail? Lay oh, off of the jail stuff, will you? I didn't commit nothing. 
I just didn't mention something, that's all. <laughs> I was just, uh, what do you call it, exercising my uh, loophole, like any other big one. Face it, Daddy, what you did was illegal. I don't want you going to jail, are No, I you ain't going to jail. <laughs> you never could get used to a strange bathroom. <laughs> 